you can never really be ready for the news that, uh, that it's not an ear infection anymore, that it's cancer. Annabelle was two and a half. She was having a lot of uh, ear infections. We thought it was uh, an ear problem, but it uh, ended up being lymphoma. Next thing we found ourselves talking to an oncologist and uh, we were introduced to the world of cancer. When you go through chemotherapy, your immune system is down. You uh, are very susceptible to anything. Annabelle would be going through a really tough time where she was on her feeding tube and she's hooked up to an IV and uh, she's dehydrated and exhausted and her hair is her hair has fallen out. Sometimes you're up against something bigger than you and better than you and you have to think of who your heroes are. Annabelle was my hero and I watched her fight something that was bigger than her and she's beaten it so far. Now we're back. Annabelle can play soccer and she can do ballet and when she's doing these things everything's almost brand new for her. She didn't get that when she was a kid so everything seems so much bigger and better. I think uh, real hope is, uh, I guess, when you make a wish for something that's uh, big and out of your control, something you personally can't influence, and you hope that something special comes your way. She's in ballet, and uh, she likes to dress up like a princess, and she's kind of a girly girl. The thought of meeting uh, Cinderella down in Disney World, I think that appealed to her. I think it's for the days where you're going through the worst when, when she's sick and she's, she looks really bad and she feels really bad and you try to explain to her and you, you can't explain that they're trying to help you and you get to say it's because the people at the Make-A-Wish Foundation think that you're special, help us make a wish for a happy ending.